but this is what I wanted to have right here is the hay barn. Uh, so that is our hay barn. It is done. Um, just got to get everything moved inside. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Shino, and this is episode 55 of our Let's Play series, The Winter Wonderland. And last episode we made our display cases um, for going inside our museum here. And then we also repaired the Forlorn Armor set um, back over here. So there we go. Uh, so we got the leg armor done, and then I went on a little trip. Um, and if you'll remember our uh, teleporter that takes us here, uh, where it takes us to, there is a luxuries trader not too far away. And that's where we found the, the Foreign Lord leg armor at. Uh, so I gathered up a bunch of stuff, went back down there again, and uh, spent some time just roaming around that area waiting for him to reset. And sure enough, we got another piece. So we're able to get the next armor piece of that, and it's the helm, the, hel the headpiece. So we're going to be working on that, but that's not what this episode's about. This episode, I was thinking about this the other day. I was running through here and looking at stuff, and I thought, man, I need to finish this area here off. Um, you know, I mentioned earlier that we were going to have, this is where we're going to be doing our uh, tanning at. And we, you know, set our tannery up here, and then I wanted a hay barn set up here. Um, and so we need to do that, and I thought, well, while I'm at it, I need to really do something with the chicken pit, too. Uh, so this is going to be a building episode, uh, but not, you know, just like I did when I was uh, um, working on the greenhouses. Um, I'll do some stuff, then come back, and then we'll show some progress, and then keep right on going, okay? So let me go gather some stuff up, get me some food, and we'll get started. And just a quick peek here. You know, I had mentioned a while back that I was seeing some rifts that were over in this area, and there they are. They're back. So I've been hearing some people talking about, you know, the the rifts and, and they come and they go. And I agree with that. Um, you know, they kind of move in and move out. And somebody asked, hey, you know, if I see a lot of these things, should I just move? And people have said, yep, you ought to just move. Um, no, you don't need to. Uh, they come and go. Um, now, if you get like right in the middle of your base um, and they keep reforming right there, you, you, you know, might want to consider a little bit of a change of location. But you know, if they're on the outskirts of it like that, don't worry about them too much. Okay, uh, so I've gone in here, cleared the tree out, cleared some of these bushes. Now I got to get all of this down and get it out of the way, and then I'll be back. All right, that's cleared. Ah, uh, hay bale, haystack's gone. Now I'm going to use these for building with, but want to see how many hay bales we had total there? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six total stacks of 64 plus 20. That's a lot of hay bales. So we're going to use these just for kind of re for building in this area just to kind of show. And uh, first thing I want to kind of talk about is this is going to have to move. It's not going to, not going to move very far. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm thinking that we're going to put in, you know, a walkway here. I'm going to cross and I think that's probably going to end up being the path itself is going to be three wide and I think we're going to come it off from there by one so we'll do about that wide so we'll have our I don't guess I don't need to put that one there we'll have our pathway coming through this way and then we'll connect it heading back over that direction we'll have our path all right um, also going to have a path going of course down along this way as well one two three right through here so we're going to have another pathway that's coming down through here. And that's going to connect over here to these paths that we've already kind of got built going here. So I'll put that right over to, yeah, you'll get the idea, right? And then same thing here. We want one, two, three wide there coming across. Okay. So that'll be kind of our pathway connections. We'll have another one that connects. You know, like I said, we've already got this one started here. Uh, so we'll connect it in. And then we also going to want a pathway going in. And I think, well, there's another hay bale, 21. And I think we're going to make that other pathway kind of be right here. So we'll go probably same thing here, three wide, and come across. 
And this is going to be kind of our dividing line between where the hay barn is going to be and where the chicken coop is going to be. So there we go. Be like that. Okay. So that'll be where our pathways are going to be laid out at. Now for the chicken coop, chicken coop is going to come in on this side. And it's actually going to be a two-part chicken coop. Uh, I want to put a yard in it. So we'll have a fenced-in yard. And then we're going to have a coop uh, coming off the side of it. And I think I want to put that coop area just like right in here. And it'll be covered over. So we won't have to worry too much about that. About animals getting into it from over on top of this hill. So, and it's not going to be anything fancy. It's not even going to be anything that we can get into. Just whenever I come into the yard, it'll be a place for the chickens to run into when I feed them. And then we'll bring the yard out. Uh, about out here like this. And that may need to go over just a little bit. All right, let me finish laying this out, and then I'll come back. All right, I'm back. So... <laughs> I th I'm get, uh, got to trying to piece in where we put, where I was going to put the chicken coop and everything in along with that path. And that it was just going to make it a little too tight up against this hill. And I didn't like that. So I was facing two options. One, cut the hill back, which I love my hill. I don't want to do that. Um, so what I decided is I'm going to move and put the coop itself over there. And the yard is just going to drift back in that way just a little bit. Uh, so we're going to kind of tuck it in right along that area there. And then we'll bring the path in and angle it across to, to connect over to that side. Okay. But that is where the hay barn is going to go right there. That's where we're going to put our hay. And this is going to be the new tannery right here that we're going to work on. Okay. So now that I've got this kind of all laid out, I need to do a little more cleaning up um, down in this area specifically. Um but I may work, wait on that until after I kind of get this done so I can free up some space in those chests and make some more room for this. All right. So I'm going to start off, I think right now, by putting in the foundation for this uh, hay barn, and then I'll be right back. It's getting cold out here. I keep having to, to run in and warm myself up. But we're moving along here. Five, seven... Let's see how 20 does this. All right. So real quick, we got the uh, framework done inside here. And I'm just going to do the, I'm going to put some windows in. We're going to do them. They'll just be the single high windows. I'm going to move these out and put stairs in here. And I don't know if we'll do fancy windows in this or not. We may just end up doing panes instead of the uh, uh, just normal panes instead of um, the fancy ones like we have in the house. But we'll see how we feel. There we go. There and there. Okay. And then you'll see that this is going to be a little higher here. Uh, so I'm going to get together, and I think I may do the hay bale, uh, the hay roof on this um, along here. I think that'll work pretty good in this area. So let me go warm up, and I'll be back. All right, so we can take a quick look at what we've got done so far. I got the windows in. Got the roof on. I kind of like the hay bale front. Not going to lie. Kind of like that. Uh, I do like the thatch roof, though. I think that is probably one of my it's getting to be one of my favorites. I mean, I don't mind the the clay and the and the the uh, stairs, the wooden stairs, but I don't know. That just seems like a roof uh, for uh, a little out in the woods location. So, um, all right, let's talk about the hay barn. Oh, chickens! Uh, so, with the rest of the hay barn, this is going to be where the hay is going to be stored at. Uh, which I'm going to start gathering up and putting in there. i got to put a roof on that still. And uh, inside here, then, is where I want to put more feed. So this will be the feed for the animals. So I'll start moving the grains and such over here. Um, and I'll have them in storage barrels on this side. So 
All right, let me finish getting warmed up, um, and then I will come back once the roof is done. Be right back. There we go. So there is our hay barn. Um, I'm going to start gathering up and putting the hay in here. And the idea is, uh, it's not, I need to do a cob floor in here too, don't I? I think that would look good. Uh, but anyways, we're just going to stack the hay in just back here in this corner. There we go. My, my scaffolding's still down here. Uh, but we'll just stack the, the uh, hay up here in this corner. Uh, just let it fill this whole area up. And that should look pretty good. And we'll let it come out to uh, right about there. And I'm thinking... Thinking probably end up doing in like a little horseshoe type design. With the hay. Uh, instead of doing it all blocked. I don't need to really block it and stand it up anymore. Um, now this hay... Uh, we're towards the end of the season now. Uh, the end of the series um, so I'm probably this is just going to be more for aesthetics purposes than anything else uh, but we'll want to make it kind of look a little haphazardly uh, that it's been put in here but we'll be able to stack it way up, up high back here along the back so that we can see it the fence I'm going to do a quick little area here so we can see what that's going to kind of look like I hate that it connects I was you know I was I was seriously thinking about not using fence um, and then I thought well yeah I will but I don't know I don't I'm not sure if I exactly like the way that it connects to it so we'll pop down here and take a look at it from the outside from the back side of it so we can see oh more scaffolding that's what I like about hay though hay makes a good scaffold and reveal yeah, you can't really see the hay from inside there too well, can you? Hmm. You know, I might play with this a little bit, but um, I think, yeah. Let me finish this off. Uh, I'm I've been recording here for quite a while. I know it's not been a lot of video time, but uh, it takes a while to build. Um, so I'm need to get on and do some other stuff in real world, but. Uh, let me see if I can get some of the hay put in here. Um, trying to decide if I want to do the cob floors or not. Yeah, I'll think about it between episodes. But uh, let me finish getting some stuff done here, and then I'll be right back. All right, there we go. So we got the... I just want to put in a little bit of the pathway down here. I'm going to have to get some more path blocks. Um, it's usually not that hard you just need a little bit of stone and I've got stone and as you dig out the dirt you're gonna you know create the dirt you need so uh, that won't take me long but I'm gonna work on that between episodes I'm also gonna work on clearing this up so when you come back on the next episode we'll have I'll have the tannery already done and probably have the chicken coop moved over and the chickens moved over but this is what I wanted to have right here is the hay barn uh, so that is our hay barn it is done um, just got to get everything moved inside and uh, need to work on a cob floor, I believe, is the next thing I want to get done here. So I'll keep working on this between episodes. Hey, hope you're having a great one. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know building's not something that uh, I think makes for a lot of good content, but we are in coming up to the end of our series. Um, probably another four or five. I know, like I said, one of the things I wanted to make sure I had done uh was the orchard uh before we ended this one and i still got to get a little bit more of the forlorn armor so next episode though we come back uh, i should have the forlorn armor helm ready to go as far as getting it repaired and we'll get the uh we'll, we'll i'll have the uh, uh pardon me i'll have the the uh, tannery done and the chicken coop done okay all right folks thanks for spending this time with me this is shano and we'll catch you next time Take care.